in the conference, in the entire country for that matter. Pizzato kicks it deep. Wes Elidor, talented return man underneath it at the two-yard line. Elidor has a seam out across the 30, forced out of bounds by Pizzato, but the Coyotes are going to get great feet. McDonald, solid safety there as well for the Bears. On third down, here's Bauman. Good protection across the middle, finds Elidor, and he gets just enough for the first down to the... Spotted at midfield, and he's going to swing it out to Tice, and he is hit in the backfield, lost the football. Return this all the way, no whistle, ball is live, touchdown Bears! Turnover. 16 touchdowns, five interceptions, accounted for four scores in the win over South Dakota last year. As we see a flag come in, and you see he's not afraid to tuck it and go on the nine yard line. Keep an eye on 19, Ty Scott. Shelly is going to go, and he's got lots oh, yeah. of room over there, and he's going to get the first down. This is what Coach Petrino, oh, excuse me, wasn't there, and he was going all the way. First and 10 now from the 34. Here's Ty Scott. First catch of the day for him. South Dakota, Nick Gaze out. Top pass rusher for the Coyotes as well today. Bootleg, Shelly again looking to go. Brought down from behind. Again, they go back to right. This time he finds a little space. Keeps those legs turning and they're down inside the 10 yard line. Missouri State moves the tight end right to left. Kind of a disjointed snap that yeah, time. Was. Right is not going to get the edge. Several coyotes there. Brock Mogensen in on the stop. Oh, 84% for his career. And Pisano boots it through to give Missouri State to the near side. Travis Tice, the running back to the left of Bauman, looking to throw it. Finds J.B. on Phelps, who goes down to his seat of his pants to make the catch at the 48. Established a little bit better over the last couple of weeks. The last three halves of football, they've done a little bit more offensively, and Travis Tice with the best run of this day so far. Ending opportunities today. Can they do it here to keep the drive alive? Ball spotted at the 45-yard line. Bauman rolling out, finds Carter Bell, space in the middle, and Bell down inside the 25-yard line, tackled there. Down just 13 grabs in the season coming into the day, but they've been finding 14 with a little more frequency over the last couple of weeks as Wes Eleanor, Eleanor makes the catch. After watching film from years past, and now he's starting to, again, get those opportunities. Up the middle for Tice, first down just shy of the 10-yard line. As we, un we are now under. On first and 10 for the Missouri State 11. Shamari Lawrence into the end zone. Touchdown, South Dakota. They caught Missouri State blitzing off of the coyote right side. And they were running to that side. Then you do the other because you're expecting something. Or you're trying to catch them off guard. The extra point. Out of the hole to John Bickle. It's up and it is good. 7-3, South Dakota. It's always dangerous in the kicking game. But Shelley, as he empties the backfield on first and 10, has a man that camps out on that far sideline. Kyle stand him up just shy of the first down marker. And they'll give it up the middle to right, who has the first down and then some. Kyle might have gotten away with a fake. Pressure coming on Shelley, steps up. Floats it too far for Owens. Good coverage there. He had a step. Seeing second and eight from his own eight. Quick one on the shot to Elidor. Stood up. Helmet comes off for Missouri State. Elidor the call to come into the game in the spot at right tackle. Johnson a sophomore to Lake Andy, South Dakota. As they try to stretch the field. Great catch down the sideline by J.J. Galbraith. Yeah, this is last week. Made a couple of big catches against Youngstown State in the loss. But he has big playability at the tight end spot as Travis Tice now just drags a couple of bears. Bauman with Tice to his right. Give it off to the Pratt, Kansas native. Steps through a tackle and stumbles forward for another yard or two down to the 39. Third down, a perfect three for three. Tice will go in motion. Bauman looking for Galbraith. And it goes through his hand a little bit in that category. Yeah, that's, that's how it's supposed to be, really. Shelley looking over the middle, has a man. Good catch there and good adjustment in the air that time. Hey, great throw, great catch. 
Over the, ooh, big hit that time from Shorter. Flag comes out immediately, and all right, they have some size on that offensive line. Jacardi ain't right behind that those bodies. Shelly not going to get there. Justin Stallworth with the top tour in a vehicle <laughs> up I-29. If that's what you mean by jet, then yes. Jamari Lawrence busts through and almost took it the, way, the distance that time. Uh, uh, again, Shan, one safety over the middle. So some opportunities here. If you can hold some pressure, don't allow pressure. Good protection there. Allows Bauman to step up and unleash. Looking for Carter Bell down that sideline. Shelly looking to throw on first down. Has his tight end. Brought down over there by JoJo Gaines. Pick now for Missouri State. He stands to the left of Shelly. Kyle's getting some pressure against the Bears, and they get Shelly this time. Brendan Webb. Shelly on first and 10. Elects to throw, and woof. Trey Jackson went low. Pickup of seven to the 32. Shelly boots left to his tight end, Lance Moore. Good tackle there in space by JoJo Gaines, but it's going to be a first down for the Bears. Showing you today that it was a good decision is you mentioned he's made several plays or been on the cusp of making several plays all day. Shelly swings it out. Arcadia Wright makes the catch out of the backfield to play in his Bears career. Wright has the first down. Not a lot more, but he's just category this year. They've certainly done it again here already today. Shelly looking for Sharp. He's going to be short of the first down by at least a yard. Oh, Bauman's got a free play here. Flag is flown. Javion Phelps makes the catch along the sideline. He's shooting in six here. Ball at the 47-yard line. Bauman, good protection. Has Elidor makes the catch. His fifth of the day in a new career high. Kyle's five of seven so far today. Looking for a shot. Carter Bell has it. Oh, did he get the catch? No. He lost the football in the he end zone. See that it's incomplete because he's trying to stretch it out as he makes the catch. Well, he's got it. Well, two I hands there. I mean, he doesn't lose it. Shelly under center on first down. Gives it off to right. And a little bit of a seam off tackle that time. Gets it to the 15. Again, you know, you use 12 yard line now. Wheel it out to Selden Manning, and he's popped out of bounds by Cam Tisdale. Minus five that went for a fumble, which resulted in Missouri State's only three points of the day. He's making good on it here, though. Catches it. Keith hangs on to it this time and takes it all the way inside the 35. Yard. Bauman and the Coyotes at the 36-yard line. Over the middle, there's Bell wide open. Great play design that yes, time as Bell came over the middle, just completely away from the coverage. Looking to throw on first down. Bell is open. Touchdown, South Dakota. 23 yards. So Bell gets his touchdown reception after he has the big play. To come he out in front of Bell a little bit on that throw. This throw, it's a perfect lead. He puts it out. It's his last extra point on the booted through this time. And South Dakota, for the first time today, has a three seat defensively. Yeah, I think he is. He got up and kind of walked it off. So Shelley drops it off. Here's Ty Scott, just his second catch of the day for the leading receiver for with Shelley. That is, and, and and the coverage has been good enough downfield that he hasn't been able to find somebody kind of sneaking out, getting deep, getting behind a safety, you know, and leading to a start today. Oh, no, oh, Shelley keeps it this time, tries to get the edge, and he's brought down from behind. Shorter got him. The ability is just too much, but he's at least there. He's been disruptive for sure. Here's Wright off the pitch. Slipped down as he's shy of the first down. A center. Looking to throw a play action. Over the top has a man. There's his big tight end target that we saw a little run. And the Bears hit him over the top. First down. Jason Shelley. Quick shot to Ty Scott. Can't get away from Stephen Hillis. Slowed down there by Trey Jackson. 10-yard line. 
Shelley up the middle. Here's right. First down. Down to the three here. Five wide. He's going out. Now Shelley rolling out. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Tut Mitchell. Dragging across the back of the end zone. Extra point for Pizzano. Kicks it up and kicks it through. Jose Pizzano. Back to Tice. Bauman took a hit there. Tice cuts it back inside. Nice pick up there on first down. Gain of six down to the 40. Get up to the 49 of MSU. Try to jet sweep with Elidor. Oh, it's open up over there on the far side. And Elidor dragged down out of bounds. They're going to spot him. The backfield here for Bauman. Third and eight from the 33. Good protection again. Over the middle, in and out of the hands of Carter Bell. Would have had a tough time. Shelly looking downfield. Now he'll tuck it and go. You have to assume, Andre, with a guy like Jason, Jason Shelly, just try to soften up the secondary a little bit by testing him, and he hasn't done it. Yeah, Missouri State needs a big play, certainly. Tariq Owens over there on the far side. Don't think he hung on, and it's waved off. Incomes for him to go to here. There's Davion Mitchell, who caught the touchdown last time down, and he's... Second and 10. Pressure coming. Shelley just before he's hit, let it go. Wow. And he completes it downfield. First catch of the day. First and 10 now at the Coyote 36. Outside Tariq Owens. Steps out of the tackle of Cam Tisdale. And now brought down by JoJo Gaines at the 20. Third and 19 for the 30 of South Dakota. Setting up the screen. Flag comes in. Selden Manning. This is going to back up for a hold, I believe. What? Shelly. Pressure coming. It takes a shot again. Hits his man. That's Booker. Gets back to the line of scrimmage, I believe. Any harder for him. Dead center. Out of the hole to Burkett. Pizzano's kick is up, and it is good. So Tice, the lone setback. Under center is Bauman, and he almost fell down. Somehow got that handoff off. And Tice able to get it out to the 25-yard line, which is the original line. Of the tight end that moved in motion there. South Dakota fires ahead. Tice gets it out to the 30, or just shy of the 30, and there goes that third comeback of some sort. Mm. One against USD last year in Vermilion. To Jarcadia right out of the backfield. Stays inbounds. Yes, a couple Jarkadia yards. Got Try to communicate this next play call with the clock continuing to tick. Shelley swings it out. Here's Kevin Latulis. He's got the first down and driven out of bounds by Dayrock because it's also burning a little bit of time. Steps into the throw this time, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds. That's incomplete. The guy going up to make. Shelley going to have to run it, angling toward the boundary and he shoved out of bounds over there. That was a gain of seven for Shelley. Ball out to the 41 yard line. Good protection. Pressure coming. Blake Holden got there and caused that pass to for Shelley. Looking over the top for Selden Manning. Good coverage down there and it's incomplete. Dynamic Missouri State offense to just 13 here today in a 20 to 13 win. Well, huge plays down the stretch defensively for South Dakota to help seal the deal today. 20 to